Hi guys. I have some makeup on today. See? Like some cover up. I just felt like, I don't know, like I'm happy and I should do my makeup because I haven't done that in forever. Like, I don't even remember the last time I had makeup on. Probably, I don't know. Probably like around Christmas or something. I don't know. It's been a while. But I have my hair done. I just got out of the shower so my hair is still a little wet. And I'm washing clothes. Today it was Justin's day off. And today was my day off too. So we had um, plans on hanging out today. Just chilling and watching Netflix and just laying down. And he got called into work. So now I'm just bored. I'm making a video and I'm cleaning and everything. So yeah. So, um, here's like a little update. Um, I think my last video talked about, um, I got a new doctor and I'm waiting for him to get my blood work. And I don't like it, the fact that it's a him, but I'll do anything. Like, I don't care. So, um, so he got my blood work and my appointment is... September 7th, which is seems like forever long, but um, it's not like three months away, so that got me, you know, thinking, you know, it's okay. So I'm worried, I don't know what to think, and we're just gonna have to wait till we see what happens, and I hope. You know, nothing's bad. I kind of hope nothing's, like, really bad that, you know, she said if I don't have PCOS, then I might have something else wrong with me. So I hope it is nothing too bad that will cut off kids forever for me. Because I wouldn't know what to think if that happens. Like, a year, I just got, a year I just gave my hopes up, like... I don't know. I can't, I wouldn't be able to do anything. Like, I'd be crushed. And, like, I don't know. Like, ever since she told me and the other OB told me that, you know, nothing's wrong with me. Like, i just been planning everything. Planning, like, buying pregnancy tests, ovulation tests, freaking vitamins, uh, looking at baby stuff and was like, you know, like one day that's gonna be us, like we're gonna have a baby and just thinking of things to buy and you know I just feel like we're gonna be crushed if something else is more wrong with me. So I'd rather like you know, I hope nothing is wrong with me, but if I have PCOS, then I have the mindset, like, if I have this, I still could get pregnant. Like, there's other way, IUI, there's, because I see a lot of girls with PCOS that gets pregnant by IUI or IVF. So, like, there's always that, like, hope that, you know, you still have kids. But, like, when she said, like, if you don't have PCOS, then there's something else wrong with you. I just, like, got scared like what if I don't know I just don't want to think anything bad and I'm trying not to but I'm like worried like this is all I wanted was to have kids and have a family have a big family and like I don't know so um I have like three after today I have two days left of Prevera and she said my period should start like seven or ten days after my last dose. So I'm really hoping. I'm trying not to stress because, you know, I don't want to mess up anything. And I'm just hoping something comes. I just hope and hope it starts. Like, I never wanted my period to start so bad in my whole entire life. But I really, really hope it starts. Like, I would like vlog it not like the actual thing but you know like update about it and say it's here i would be so happy like i just hope 
I just hope it starts and everything's okay, nothing's wrong. It's just, just one of the doctors missed something or something. I just, I don't know. So I hope you guys have some positive journeys and you know, tell me not to worry. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And then we're talking about, you know, moving because I want somewhere, you know, that's bigger than this. I'll do um, a house tour. Once I had to clean everything in the other bedroom, I had to clean it because it's just a spare bedroom, but it's the baby's room and there's like everything in there. But I really don't want to show that because like it's all set up to like a girl's theme because I did, I did collect reborns and that was their nursery. So it's set up as girl theme and I really want to keep it a secret, um, like a surprise. So yeah, so I kind of don't want to show that, but I'll show everything else. I just got to clean everything and put shoes away because Justin has shoes everywhere. This He's a guy, but he has tons and tons of shoes, like tons. But we're ta um, not talking about moving anytime soon because we just moved here. It'll be a year in October. And we have five years on the house, so we're one year down and four more to go. But I just want like an idea so I could be ready and so I could know how much to save. But right now we're saving for IUI and um, after IUI then we'll, you know, see what happens. Because that's what I want to do. I want to go to the doctor on the 7th, September 7th and... Just tell them, like, I don't want the IUI. Like, I'm tired of getting the run around. I'm just tired of freaking, you know, not knowing what's wrong with me. That's what I want to do. Because I don't want a longer journey than two years. And, yeah, that's what I want to do. And that's what Jessica wants to do, too. Um... Let's see what else. So we either want to stay in the same neighborhood, just a bigger trailer, like a double wide, and I think they only go up to three bedrooms. But I really want a four to five bedroom house. So each, because we want four kids, so each four each kid will have its own room, and. Um, I have, we'll have a room. And I want, like, if we have three kids, then that's fine. You know, they can have a playroom. Like, three to four kids, that's what we want. So, yeah, this video is already eight minutes long, so I'm gonna say bye now. Just leave a comment below any your guys's uh journeys and let me know what you guys did or what medicines you took or anything that will help me keep my mind off everything and think more positive than what i've been doing and uh let you guys know what happens at the doctor appointment and I do plan, like, um, vlogging the IUI and everything if we do that, which I'm hoping we will. Um, plan on vlogging that and the doctor appointments and everything, so. It'll be exciting. Okay. Don't forget to sub to me. Because there's more, more videos to come. And if we have, if we do get pregnant, which I hope we do. Um, this channel will turn into fa family vlogs, so that'd be exciting too. And we'll do it like two days a week and then slowly do every day. We'll see. Plus I'm babysitting, so that's a big we'll see. And their mom doesn't want them to get like, have pictures taken or anything on Facebook or videos, so 
I can't really vlog when I'm with them. So, yeah. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching.